Let's go to the lake and jibble our way there. All right, I'll stop. Hello there. It's nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here, I shall show you. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at times we work together. Sometimes people use the Pokemon for battle, and develop closer bombs with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me yourself? Tell us about ourself indeed. So these are the photos. Such a little bit of Ford and Shield-ish action right here, but we're gonna go with the uh, default character. And of course, our name is Adam, and wouldn't you believe that is our name. And without further ado, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam, this is HMO4 Gaming, welcome you to Brilliant Diamond here on the Nintendo Switch. This is a remake of the 4th gen Pokemon games, Diamond and Pearl and Platinum, here remade for the Nintendo Switch. Now it's not made by the Pokemon Com well not Pokemon Company, but Game Freak, but a third party developer. And uh, they made some questionable decisions, and we'll take a look at that as we go through. My plan for this playthrough is a Nuzlocke, if you don't know what that is. We'll get into that in time. But without further ado, yes, let's get going. So you're Adam. Yes, and you know what you should else you do? I forgot this mention. Please hit like, hit subscribe, do all those things on down below. A fine name, that is. Now this boy here... I believe he's your friend. He might be his name. I'll, I'll tell you. Shout out to my friend Danny. He's always my rival in these games. Danny, is it? That's your friend's name. All right, Adam. The time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you'll meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you'll discover many things. Perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on and leap into the world of Pokemon. And leap we shall. Now unlike third gen, we're not going to be getting out of the back of a trailer, so at least there's a plus. Oh. Oh, I forgot there's a TV program at the start. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare, only color Pokemon elude the direction. The rumored red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleeting to the crestfallen team. I had flashbacks of. Oh my god, what did they do to him? The countless special reports search for the red Gyarados. Search for the red Gyarados? Look at, look at this dude! Also, for this playthrough, because it's Gnoss Lock, you like to see uh, reactions. Hello, everybody! You get to see my face. I know, turn off now, unsubscribe, hit dislike, all those fun things down below. <laughs> all right. Brought to you by Jimmy Life's National Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. All right. And why does everybody put our Nintendo Switch on the floor and then not have the Joy-Con attached? Look at our chibi boy. Look at the chibi boy. All right, let's see. Do we get a potion? Come on. No, I don't want to care about Pokemon basics. God damn it. I think, um, can I sleep? All yeah, right, I guess we should might as well sleep until uh, Pokemon Arceus comes out. I'll see you then. Until next time, I've, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. Get your ass up, let's get going. Head downstairs and see what other monstrosities we can find. Hello, mom. Adam, Danny came calling for you a while ago. I don't know what it is about, but he said it was an emergency. Okay, Mom, I'll go find Danny. What kind of nonsense? What are you watching this Chansey and his hot honey? Oh, <gasps> cookies. This is where Mom does all of her delicious cooking. I bet she does. Get back in the kitchen. No, screw that. I'm gonna make food. Oh, yes, Adam. 
Don't tell go into the tall grass. Bogerbaum might attack you. I know you're ten and might not have known that already. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but don't so Oh, she's flexing on us. She's saying we don't have our own Pokemon, so can't, sorry. Alright. I like it. Hello, technology guy. Technology just blows my way away. I mean, now you can play with people around the world wirelessly. What? Wireless communication? Also, it's a little cast in shadow on me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to move it. All right. Where's Barry's house? Oh, I mean, Danny's house. Sorry. Let's head on in. Watch out, brother. What's that all about? Oh, hey, Adam. I'm going to the lake. You should come, too, and be quick about it. Okay, Adam, I'm finding you one million dollars if you're late. See you, bruh. Oh, yeah, I spot to tell you. Smell you later. Oh, sorry, nope. Oh, jeez, I forgot something. I bet he did. Where's my hat? I just noticed that. Where the hell is my creepy hat? My uh, beret, I guess I should say. I better take my bag, my guidebook, too. Oh, hey, Adam. We're going to the lake. I'm waiting on the roads. I'm 10 million five me late. Why does everybody leave their blue Joy-Con detached from their Switch? No wonder why these kids are getting drift nowadays. Damn. Hello, sleepy Danny's mom. The kid rocking it off like usual. I guess he better be out on Route 201 by now. He just gonna say to the boy I want everybody to take after it. Uh, don't you got a husband? Let's not get into that. <laughs> Twin Leaf Town. I can't sprint, but I can jibbly all over the place. Oh, look at my bag. What do we got? Tech speed. Fast. Definitely need that fast. Nope, 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 nope. Since this is a Nuzlocke. What? Let's see. What one do I like? Ooh, I like the green one. Yeah, we like that. Alright. Uh, what else? No, why does it kick me out every time? Yeah, you gotta place on set. If we play on Switch, eh, it's a little bit too easy. So we'll we'll uh we'll do that. I think that's all we need to do for now. Let's go to the lake and jibble our way there. All right, I'll stop. Hey, you saw that report that was on the TV, right? You know, search for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in the lake? That show's got me thinking. I bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it, too. So what's that we're going to do? We're going to go find a Pokemon like that? Uh, maybe. Mm, maybe. Let's head over. <laughs> Sorry. Never knew, I never heard it as such a banger before. All right, to the Gar to the Gyarados, to the lake to find the red Gyarados, and maybe a depressed middle-aged man. Oh wait, wrong one, wrong game, I should say. I swear to God, if this game took a lot of the platinum stuff out, I would be so sad. What's going on, Professor? There isn't any out of the ordinary on their side either. Uh, I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than what it was before, but... Fine. It's not enough for the scene of this lake. Dawn, we're leaving. I am angry about it. Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh after being away for four years? Where were you, Professor? It must be inside. Uh, there must be one thing I can say. I know I'm flipping for us and trying to solidify voices. Sorry. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should have many regards to that. The region should severe well in regards to our studies. Alright, whatever. Excuse me, let me pass. Oh, oh. I, I, I beg your pardon, we'll, we'll be on our way. Alright, see you later. Don't worry about it. What was that all about, those two? I'm sure it's nothing, don't worry about it. Huh, Adam, let's check this out. 
What's that? Don't go in the tall grass? No problem, no problem. We won't be in there long enough for a while Pokemon to come out. <laughs> Said the biggest lie ever. It's a briefcase! Those people forgot it. We should just totally steal it. <laughs> what are you supposed to do with it? We can try to return it, but... Who were they? I heard them say... Professor. <laughs> what? Pokemon! We only took one step! Bananas! <laughs> What's going on? Look, those Pokeballs! Those battling using Pokemon Bam! Which one do you want? What did it Tweet! Do I want air tweet? Well, for this playthrough, I like Empoleon. Impernate, you can probably solo run this game. And I love Torterra with Earthquake. So, for this playthrough, and as my very first playthrough of this game, I also chose Turtwig. So let's do it up. Come on, Turtwig. Oh, look, he's looking around. What? All right, now we're back to normal. There we go. All right, come on, Starly. You encountered the way of the Starly Goose, Turtwig. Attack my target. Yes. Plus, it also has Withdraw, which is very unique for your starter to have a move that isn't something that lowers your Pokemon, other Pokemon stats. Fun fact. I don't think there's really any other Pokemon in the franchise, starter Pokemon, that starts with a move that increases its own stats. Turtwiggy's tackle! Hmm, right there with that. I kind of got flashes of Let's Go right there. Hmm. I mean, Let's Go is good for kids but I mean I really wish they added like a mode to take off its I guess primary uh, mechanic that would probably wouldn't make sense but whatever fly your church week totally robbed but my chimp jaw was way tougher than yours we'll see will it stand up to an earthquake we shall see they must have the other Pokemon but we had to use them those people won't mind will they Okay, I won't. <laughs> I gotta stop dancing every single music track. Oh, that proof case! The professor would have been furious if he lost it. Oh no! You didn't use the Pokemon that were in there, did you? Oh, you did. What's the professor going to say? That's not good. I'll take this briefcase now. No, I only have one Pokemon I can choose. Damn you guys! Even though it's probably canon that she had Pit Fluff anyway, but whatever. What was that all about? I don't know what's going on, Adam. Let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt in that battle, did? If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. Might be. Could be. Could have been. Oh, it's back again. Go ahead. I know you have to return these Pokemon. They're not ours. But I want to spend just a little bit more time with this guy. Really need some freaking running shoes before we ghibli our place out of here. Uh oh. Quick, Danny, run! <laughs> hey, it's those kids! Oh, wait, this is Danny. I thought it was Rowan talking. Hey, those people! It's that old guy staring at us. That's what he does. He's very good at it. Huh. I heard from Dawn that he used our Pokemon. Let's see them, please. Huh. To Twig and Chimcha. Huh, oh, I see. That's how it is. Dawn! I'm going back to my love. Get the hell out of my way. <laughs> uh, okay, Professor. Please wait for me. Maybe. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, see you. Jibble, jibble. What was all that craziness about? I mean, if he was, if he was angry, could have yelled at us or whatever. And didn't he want his? Pokemon back? I mean, we kind of stole it. Adam, uh, yeah, maybe we should go home first. Alright, alright, relax. What the hell? Look at how big our hair, our mom's hair is. What the hell? <laughs> What's up, dear? I don't know. Is it crazy anyone's mom say what's up to them? <laughs> Whatever. 
Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. I don't really care. Am I ever glad that both you and Danny are unharmed? The star leaves are like half your size if you look at the actual Pokedex, but what up? The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sanjim Town. I've heard he's well known for his studies in Pokemon. I heard he's also quite intimidating. Adam, I think you need to visit him in Sanjim Town. You need to probably explain why you had no other choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll understand. Or he won't. Better you than me. <laughs> Oh, I know, Adam. Put these on. Thanks, Ma. You're going to Sand Jam Town. How many times are you going to tell us to go to Sand Jam Town? we got to go to Sand Jam Town. It's like an adventure in itself, right? To go to the next town over? Use those run shoes. You get far away places much better. Okay, let's read the instruction. Press the B button. Oh, we're tilting the stick. Faked me out. We weren't pressing the B button. <laughs> Blown my mind. 15 years of pressing the B button. Put the adventure shoes. Blaze new trails and adventure. Well, isn't that just nifty? But what if I just want to press... Oh, I guess tilting the stick is... But I like holding the button. Technology guy, what do you think about this? Yeah, you just say one thing. Nope. You said it three times. Leave me alone. Uh, does he... Oh, I guess he goes on his own. But, the Nuzlocke has not officially started yet. The Nuzlocke only starts when we get the Poke Bulls, which in this game, Dawn gives it to us once we talk to Rowan and tell her mom we're leaving and all that fun stuff. So let's go there. The only thing in this grass should be just Bidoof and Starly, which we already saw Starly. Bidoof, our boy, I heard in this... What? Did... I didn't even step in the grass. Whatever. Also, where's my hat? <laughs> I got my quaff star. I need my hat. All right. Oh, you attack me. Oh, this is going to be a forever hit KO. Oh, well. Might as well. We need XP. So I guess this might be a good opportunity in how I'm going to handle this game going forward. So I have a lot of things going on in the channel. Check it out down below. Hit like, subscribe, do all those things. Um, Pokemon, obviously, was the main inspiration of my channel. If you haven't noticed by now, HMO4. If you know what HMO4 um, is, it's the TM for Strength. Back in the first few generations, Strength Gaming, I liked it. Pun, it stuck. That's what I like. But I haven't really had much Pokemon stuff on the channel. Unlike a lot of these other... Hello, do you give me a potion? Yes, you do. Um... I don't have a capture card for the DS, Game Boy, or any of that nonsense. I don't really know how to do stuff on the actual computer. I know I'm dumb. I probably can look it up, but hey. I want it to be in good quality. I don't want it to look like garbage. So doing stuff on the Switch is good. Sword and Shield kind of bored me, I want to say. <laughs> this might be a little bit more uh, interesting because I always like 4th Gen. It's something I'm familiar with. Sword and Shield story. Boring uninspired not much going on here's the here's the bad guy question mark here's the Pokemon that's bad maybe question mark we captured it so here's the actual descendants of the prince they're assholes yeah here's some DLC you have to pay for first time ever and the no didn't even look at those stupid especially one was just a way to catch wild pokemon or legendaries but whatever i'm getting off topic i'm letting these people just talk the old guy he's not scary so much as he is totally out here oh it doesn't matter adam i'm out here see you later i know he's out there i know it says out of here shush wow what was that your friend seems to be really impatient well anyway let's go inside i'm sure you'll be able to give him what i have to give you later Look at that epic stash. Why are we so close? <laughs> Finally! You've come. Adam, was it? Let's see that Pokemon again. Uh, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alright then. I'll give you that Turtwig as a gift. Now that it is yours, what would you like to give it as a nickname? Yes, I would. What am I going to nickname it indeed? <coughs> Not 
really too sure what I'm going to nickname it. Hmm. I would say, as it's tradition, and I'm a huge Star Wars nerd, this Turquig shall be called Darth Revan. Or, can I even fit Darth Revan? I wonder. I probably can't. Oh man, I think I can. Oh, I can. I'm a super big nerd. Okay, I see, and you're happy with that nickname? Uh, I am! I don't know about the rest of y'all, but yeah, I'm happy with it. Your friend Danny told me what happened to the lake. I heard you battled very well, despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there's a growing bond between you and that Pokemon. So, through it, is still young. That's why I would like to entrust Turtwig to you. He's entrusting me a Dark Lord of the Sith. Yikes. I'm so glad that you're kind towards Pokemon. How do you know? We're gonna Eevee drain and kick its ass and shove medicine down its throat. No, we're not. Maybe we might do some of those things. Don't know yet. If you weren't, I'd have to... Well, I can't say it. What? Say it. I feel attacked. <laughs> Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I wanted to know exactly what kind of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. That is what I wish to ask of you. I want to address you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all Pokemon in the Sinnoh region for me? Oh, as many as I can come across, sure. Huh, good answer. You obtained the Pokedex. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Adam, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every Pokemon in the region because I old ass cannot do so. I've got one too. When you walk up the route 201 with your Pokemon, what do you feel? I lived for 60 long years. Even now I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. Eh, I wouldn't say countless. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. I don't remember Rowan being this cheerful. No go. Adam, your grand adventure begins now. The Pokemon that you used for the first time was Pitplup. If you chose that one, we'd have the same one. I really doubt it. Now that it matters, but anyway, I'm Don. Hello. I'm the actual main character of the anime, maybe next to Mr. Ketchum. I also have the Pokemon added to Dex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just get a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Adam. Peace. Oh, <laughs> didn't even tell me to get out of here. All right, hello. Pokemon Ruin invented a new Pokedex while working alongside a professor from the Kanto region. Aw, oh, my doggo. I'm Don's father. I'll be happy to assist you on your quest for the professor. Uh, I'm, I'm sure we can count on you. He just doesn't want me to steal a spotlight from his daughter. I see how it is. Hello, Don. Okay, Adam, I'll act as your mentor. We're like the same age. And plus, I played this game way before you were a twinkle in, um, I forget, the Jinichi Masuda's eyes. Okay, follow me. Okay, this building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's a place that heals Pokemon that hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. Okay, the building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemon Mart. It's a shop where you can buy, sell items and medicines and Pokemon and drugs and, and balls and capture devices and everything. Adam, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise because they don't like you. So you have to get badges. Then they will. Don't let that bother you. Oh, that's right. 
Don't need to let you know your family know you're going anywhere. Do I have to? You may need to travel pretty far, so I think you should let them know. Oh, before you go, heal up at the Pokemon Center. It'll be a lot of less scary that way. Okay, bye. Scary. Don, you have no idea. Alright, let's head back to our uh, mom and tell her we're leaving and then immediately cheese it. <laughs> hey, did you know there's these ledges that you can get around the encounter so you don't have to get any encounters? It's really easy. You jump right over. See, chaka watch. Blaka waka. I forget what generation that was. There was a jump over the ledge guy that you can do that. And he's like, wow, now you can avoid the battles. Mom, I'm leaving. Welcome home, Hanum. You and your Pokemon are healthy. I just made dinner. Take a quick rest. Since when do you cook? <laughs> I'm usually the one cooking. What's up, Adam? What? What's up? Wow, Professor Owen asked you to do something that big? He said, get the hell out, get get a job, and get out of your house? Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Adam. I got something useful you can find useful. The guidebook. You put the guidebook in the key item slot. That's a guidebook. Take a look at it when you're curious about something or have a question. I do not. During your adventure, you may find an answer. Nah. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. I just sit in this one floor house staring at off into the abyss. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I mean, no one's going to be here. I'm going to be out and about. You can do whatever you want, Mom. Come on. I'm just joking. I'll be all right by myself, dear. So you go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience a new sensation, it makes your mother happy, too. Because I'm all alone and you're out of my hair. Please come back sometime. I would like to see kinds of Pokemon you caught. The guy will... Yes, thank you. <laughs> Just gotta put that right in your face. Excuse me. Didn't my little Danny come here at all? Oh, no, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? The boy shouted about going on an adventure, but I was too busy being tired. Then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry. Adam will deliver that to him. I will have one. Won't you, Adam? Oh, really? You do that for me? Adam, please take this to Danny for me. Oh, that was her. That was her. You have trained the parcel. Your parcel and the key items. Bye-bye, Adam. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he would have probably headed straight to Jubilife City. Okay, please take that to Danny. I'm going to bed. Bye-bye. <laughs> and nobody even tells me I'm off. He's like, yeah, you're good. Oh, Adam. He forgot something important. My hat? There we go. I looked weird without my, uh, I guess, I forget what you call it. It's not, it's not a fedora. A beret? I know it's named something else. Beret. We're going to go with the beret. Now you're off. I got my beret. I got my Pokemon. I got my start of our adventure. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, in the next episode, we will start our adventure proper. I hope you guys enjoyed this cheesy introduction to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond here on the Switch. If you guys did enjoy, please hit like, hit subscribe, do all those things on down below. And if you enjoyed actually seeing my face instead of a phantomy voiceover, let me know down below in the comments. But until next time, I have been Adam, this has been HMO4 Gaming, and this has been Pokemon Brilliant Diamond here on the Switch. Thank you very much. Have yourselves a great day.